California and New York recently passed a bill called the Crown Act. Fitting name. The Crown in the Crown Act stands for Creating a Respectful and Open World for Natural Hair. Written and sponsored by Senator Holly J. Mitchell, the Crown Act is a seven-page bill that basically decriminalizes natural hair. So far, it's been passed in just two states. You know what that means? Before July 3rd, 2019, you're committing a crime if you wear your hair natural at a workplace or at school. And it's okay for an authority figure to discriminate against you and punish you for it. It makes sense now why we're always seeing those disgusting videos of kids being sent home from school for wearing their hair in African hairstyles. When I first heard about this bill passing, I was happy because it's progress and it's a step towards the right direction. But then I got a little angry because it's hard to imagine just how much hate and discrimination is ingrained into the laws of America. Passing a law does not instantly change herd mentality. And considering just how backwards this type of mentality is, it's gonna take a lot more work and time to truly change the narrative around natural hair at all textures, and to get this bill passed in the remaining 48 states. I grew up at a time where it felt like everyone was infected by the European disease of colorism and texturism. It sticks more when your own people passively treat you like you're less than. It's easier to believe. So while this bill lifts so many external economic roadblocks for African Americans, true change has to come from inside out. We're at a unique time where we own our image and how it's being interpreted. We're in complete control. All it takes is a decision to heal ourselves and each other. Currently, it's still legal to discriminate against a person in the workplace and in schools because of their natural hairstyles in all states except for California and New York. Below was a link to a petition. The goal is to get 100,000 signatures to help urge legislators in other states to vote yes to the Crown Act. You can still sign a petition if you're located overseas. Just enter zeros at your zip code. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.